let's just see these guys. Yes, if you let that happen, and once they start blowing, things get annoying. Don't even let them get that far, kill them quickly. So this next room, so if you haven't seen these, these are kind of quarter E-tanks. They're like pieces of a heart, you need four of them, and you get an E-tank. Um, they're not that useful except for this one on the next screen, because it's kind of easy to get. So you have to wait for this waterfall anyway. And you see those little drops, by the way, a waterfall is coming. Uh, they will wash you away. It's bad. I don't really feel like getting a game over at the moment, so I won't show it right now. However, you can stay on a ladder and not move, and you're good. There's a point later where one of the bosses can steal your items. That's why I'm grabbing that little quarter E-tank. That way he'll steal that instead of something that I actually want to keep. So I've been experimenting with this. I think I've come to the conclusion. Actually, I have So you can start holding B between screen transitions, and you'll start charging at the other side without shooting. That's useful for doing stuff. Same thing goes for slides. You can start holding B in the middle of the slide and you'll start charging. So here, just ignore this guy below me that I'm currently ignoring. There's going to be a B to the right here. There's two ways to take him out. Um, I think the one way that I was playing with for a little bit was shoot, slide, shoot immediately on the other end. I think this way's faster. Hold the charge, slide, let go of B basically in the middle of the slide and you'll get him. So here, there's an enemy on the next screen you'll want to deal with. Can I get a 1-up, Eddie? Ow. Start holding B through that slide for timing. As soon as you drop through here, turn to the left and let go of let go of B during the screen transition. Half shot, one shot. No real way for me to reproduce that, but yeah. Just let go, half shot. Half shot, he'll hit him and come right back to you. Jump and shoot, and then you just carry a right on in the jump. Jump straight up to shoot him, and then hold left to move over. Otherwise you get hit and it sucks. Now this next room is the bubble room. This room is slightly laggy. Plus, you have those really annoying bees. So, as you fall through, shoot this guy in the right. Don't hold all the way to the right, you'll go right into those spikes. Normally, you would get to this bubble and jump straight to the ladder. Worth noting here, though, small bubbles, you don't get a big jump. Big jump bubbles, you get a big jump. I've seen cases where Mega Man doesn't always bounce a third time, and I don't know what's up with them. Either way, just come right up here, ignoring that B. I think I'm not usually holding a charge when I get up here. Jump, slide, jump, and jump out of a slide. Slide once, start holding a charge, and then slide again. So when you come here, drop down as fast as you can. Let go of that to hit him three times, start mashing B in that bubble. There, the task can actually get up here and beat the waterfall entirely. Uh, feel free to try that. Good luck. I don't think it even kills that crab. It just goes for it. Hey, Lesteris, how's it going? My main goal in this room is to hit him with for three, get caught in the bubble, because if you wait too long, it will wash you into this pit and back to the midway point with you. After that, because the waterfall is going, it doesn't really matter how fast you kill it but you want to kill it as quickly as you can. This is another one of those jumps where you have to basically be halfway off the platform to make it. And then you climb. Start holding a charge here. One, jump. Ah, that's definitely that's good. I want to show that. So what you really want here is you want to come down, and wait a second, and jump over him kind of saw the first time, I tried to jump right away, bad things happened. If you jump too soon, he just uh, goes to the right, he'll hit you on the right side. If you wait too long, well, the first time. He's 
not worth killing, but start holding a charge. You can slide over the one block gaps and just waste that guy. Now, this next room is interesting. It's one of these bubble rooms again, except now there's spikes. The first enemy you kill by having a charge ready, you just keep holding right, you'll bounce over the first spike, and you want to blast this guy along the way. After that, you're bouncing. You want to kind of... Whereas Mega Man's kind of shooting along that pipe there, you want to be shooting probably even another pipe up if there was one. As you're hopping along the next screen, you want to get two shots off, and that will kill another bee on the other side of some spikes. It doesn't matter if you slide off. So that was that. It's kind of hard to explain. And these spikes are really freaking annoying. The low spikes you need to be on the big bubble to actually jump over. These, you can't get too close or this game just says, nope, you're close enough, you're hitting a spike, you're dead. You're dead. So you want to just slide from around here. I guess I'm on top of the big bubble, but I've always kind of looked for that gap between Mega Man's helmet and the spike. On the other side, there's going to be another B and another low spike. You want to jump over the low spike and waste the B at the same time. And again, you have to be on a big bubble to do it. You have to land. You see there, he kind of stopped after two hops. I don't know what's up with that. You want to be on the big bubble to get up here. Optimally, you bang your head on the wall until you get in a little faster. This room is all about just kind of some speed, get through these four waterfalls. If need be, you can wait here, but you can make it past all of them. On the other side, you waste this guy. Don't jump into the ceiling. And just kill them. Next screen has one last owl on the stage, so you want to kind of have a full charge ready to go when you get here. Same as the first three. Oh, as the first two. Hit him with a full charge, wait a second, jump at him with a half charge, and waste him. If you're not comfortable with this room, uh, if you have Neptune's weapon, you can actually kill the owl with three shots from up on top by holding right and shooting. Uh, otherwise, you know, just come down here to deal with it, blast him, and you can make this jump anyway. One of the things with the whole fan that made me more comfortable with is remembering you can make this jump without the fan, so as long as you're going to make the jump, you will make the jump. You don't need to hold the charge coming into this room, but you want to full charge for that, and then you just kill that guy. That was a little sudden, so if you want to slide, jump over. I like hitting with the standing half charge because you won't miss him that way, and you're good. Uh, from there, again, jumps that you have to basically be halfway off the platform to make. All right. If you haven't noticed it by now, the bubbles on the ceiling that actually drop to attack you have a different coloration than the others. That goes true even on a black and white Game Boy, they're darker than the other bubbles. So that's good to know. Uh, recently in runs, I've been hitting this gate in the 2, 40, 2 minutes 40 seconds to 2 minutes 43 seconds range. I pushed A on the Venus stage on the stage select at like 1.7 seconds. I don't know if that means anything to anyone, but that's information. It's also worth noting that since holding a charge lags the game, it's probably best to come through these gates without holding a charge at all. You can actually hold a charge starting from when the boss fight starts, so you can just hold B now, and you're good. Now, I got one shot, so here we go. Venus jumps when you shoot. Your best damage per second here is the half charge. You can basically fire these bubbles. Ooh. This hurts a lot. The bubbles work as a shield form sometimes too. So if you hold fire just to charge at them on the ground, you'll fire the small bubble and block it. So let's see. Let's let's go through the whole stage. Given the situation, it's the first stage in the game. Let's see that whole thing put together. Your N and B button doesn't want to work. So I 
guess I can look for Mega Man's hand to pass through that pillar. Just get it. If you fire a little over its head, you'll still hit it, so that's good. Golden screen again. Beat the waterfall. If you fire too early, that's what happens, and then you're posed. You're not going to beat the waterfall at that point. It's not worth resetting the whole room for it either, so... If you're stuck in those bubbles, just mash A and B until you get out. That jump's dangerous. Don't try it unless you know what you're doing. Should this guy slide through the room? I should highlight this whole thing is like just this stage, because I did a lot of talking here. Alright, let's pause this for a second. Let's say you you really want these. This is a hard slide to make. I'm not even gonna try it anymore because it's been so long, but you basically need to hit left and right in the middle of that slide to stop between the two spikes or you won't really do it. And if you start from the left side, that owl will cause you trouble by pushing you into one of the spikes or pulling you into one. So P chips are your currency for the shop, by the way. The small ones are worth two, the big ones are worth eight. You want to get about 30. You definitely want 30 for uh, the first half of the game. 60 I like right at the moment, but I know the record runs all only use 30. Having 60 is a nice backup though. And one. I just have like little vocal cues where I just talk to fill in the space. So yeah, if you get hit here, you miss that guy. That is the bullshit that you have to do. One other thing to know about getting hit in that room, though, is... You can damage boost over the spikes. It lags the game like crazy, but it's a surefire way to survive if that's your goal. This was a little sloppy. I mentioned snapback. You actually can use it on those owls. Oh, your keyboard buttons don't work. I've got you. Sorry for mystery per future person watching this. I have chat to attend to. Venus's weapon, by the way, of uh, weakness is Mars. But we do Venus's stage first to get his weapon. And like any Mega Man game, try and finish the fight in the middle of the room, otherwise he has to walk to the middle. If you're looking at my splits on the side, not that I'm running the timer, I, I usually hit them when Mega Man beams out. Uh, that includes Terra and the Rock Monster, when Mega Man lands on the ground, split. That's Venus's weapon. It lags the game like crazy, but it's horribly effective, and you get a lot of it. So it's very useful. Rush Coil, much less useful. So you hit A to go to stage select, or you hit B to go shopping. Uh, in a speed run, you don't really go shopping. So there are a couple of items that might be worth noting eventually. 